hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do some tutorials on rockstrix b450f gaming motherboard so we're gonna know today all about the EVFI bias utility as you can see on the screen anyway the actual from the manufacturer the motherboard is ready to boot it up from any bootable USB either UEFI format or legacy this motherboard settings I mean the BIOS settings smart enough whenever you connect at the first time after you build your PC it can recognize you don't need to get into much more settings but in case if you do any mess about the BIOS settings then this video would help you how to reboot your system from USB bootable thumb drive so we're gonna start so first as you can see this is my Windows 10 um, clean version 64-bit okay this is only uh, not only UEFI this is legacy and both boot you we can do with that one so I'm gonna start first I'm gonna connect it to my PC connect it please all right so that is connected now we're going to turn it off press and hold the power button which is in here once it turned off completely press the power button again come back to F2 keep pressing it right so as you can see this is the actual uh, bio screen UFI BIOS utility page from here you can customize it so today we're going to focus everything uh, very briefly and precisely so let's go to the fan control from here you can see every single fan their movement their statistics how does it work if you do AIO pump cooling then obviously you can also find out but my one is not enable so that's the reason why it shows only CPU fan and other churches fan one and two okay so that's the first things and then if you only go to advanced you can see some uh, you know USB configuration and stuff like that hard drive SATA configuration and others also some additional rock effects and everything you know and CPU configuration okay but if you just wanna reinstall any Windows system then you don't need to touch in anywhere except this USB because if you make it disabled and if you don't set it up on auto you know then it's not going to work so make sure you leave it enabled as you can see here then go back to main and check on the security security is all about password here but normally uh, most of the motherboard not the new version the old version on security means you're going to find secure boot option in there but for this motherboard it's not like that so don't worry about it go back to tool I'm just going randomly just to show you what is in there what is not from here also we don't need to do anything due to reinstall the system go back to boot straight away all right so from here you can see the boot configuration everything is there but if you want to do straightforward and quick one then I'm going to show you how to do that so go to easy mode is that mode or you can press F7 from here as you can see this is the brute priority option and that is my external USB bootable thumb drive so if I click here and then go to boot menu by F8 if you you can press F8 or you can just click with your mouse then if you choose from here straight away it's gonna boot it up you know so I'm gonna click in here which is my external bootable thumb drive click here and the system would restart with the Windows logo and it will go directly to the Windows setup page so let's check it out okay here you go as you can see the setup option sorry the camera focus is not too good but anyway that's the actual camera but I don't want to make it zoom okay from here I'm going to choose for me United Kingdom 
go to next install all right accept the terms and condition click next custom if you want to do fresh install sorry yeah custom from here I choose a lot of partition what I'm going to do I'm going to delete every single one of them uh, except that one because this is my data one okay so I'm going to delete rest of them delete it recovery delete 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 windows as well All right, so now what I'm going to do, this is my hard drive, which is data. And second one is my uh, SSD. So I want to reinstall the system in SSD. So I'm going to choose here. I don't want to repartition it. So I'm going to click next and it's going to start up from here. Yeah, as you can see, it's going to from zero to 100%. Okay, and next of, next of the option you guys already know, you just need to follow the procedure. As you can see, this is 40% within less than five minutes. So I'm going to wait for uh, another few minutes and I'm going to pause the video until it goes to 100%. All right, so 100% already gone. And now within a couple of minutes, Finally, we'll go to the final uh, page and the installation progress would be finished. Now the system would take a restart. Let's wait and see what happened. The system is restarting. All right. So the device is getting ready. All right, so finally it's loading up. All right, so this is the final steps. I'm going to select my region. Select United Kingdom, next. I want to skip that. Do whatever you want to do. So you're going to put a name here. At this point, I'm going to put MSI. Hit enter. I don't want any password. Hit enter again. And I want to make it minimum setting so I'm going to decline it no 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 because I want to keep all the settings in my control rather than giving it to Microsoft so that's the reason I am accepting no instead of yes once you do yes that means your PC is getting more controlled by the operating system instead of you okay so now that would be in the final stage so that's the actual final screen as you can see this is the fresh windows so that's how you set up the windows for asus rock strict b450 f gaming uh md motherboard it's super simple and they upgraded the bios uh, this is EUFI based so brilliant you can control your fan every single thing you know but still if you do have any questions regarding this model please leave it in the comment section I'm more than happy to see it and thank you so much for time into my channel I hope I'll see you in the next video bye for now